Hey there, Josh here, founder of HR University and certified HR professional. In this video, I'll be talking about the essential skills that an HR journalist must have. HR journalists are responsible for the day-to-day -day management of human resources operations. They work with the HR manager or HR coordinator managing training programs, policy administration, hiring procedures, and other administrative tasks in the department. Given this, there are numerous skills that you should have to become effective in the role. Instead of going through the long list of skills, we have identified the key skills for you, and in this video, I'm going to share the top five essential HR journalist skills that will equip you to thrive in your HR career. But of course, before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon, and that way you can get great HR content from HR University. Let's go ahead and jump in. First on our list of skills is full cycle recruitment, or also known as end-to-end -end recruiting. From sourcing of candidates, going through applications, interviews, and down to the placement and induction. Hiring is one of the core HR activities, which is why it's no surprise that this skill is at the top position of sought after skills. Although an HR assistant or coordinator will often help with the hiring, generalists must have a complete understanding of all job recruitment duties. First and foremost, they must know the qualifications for the role that they're hiring for and recruiting for. They must be able to conduct further interviews if necessary, provide guidance on selection and job offer process, ensure a smooth onboarding process. Always remember that HR is the face of the company to future employees, which is why providing a good candidate experience is a must. The next essential skill is analytical skill. First, HR journalists are also in charge of payroll and benefits. Although they may have an assistant or coordinator doing the computation and the administrative part of it, they must have the analytical skill to review these computations and reports. Moreover, there is so much data in HR that needs proper consumption and analysis. HR departments have a tradition of collecting lots of HR data. However, this data often remains unused. As HR generalists, you must have the analytical capability to make sense of data and interpret that data in ways that help business leaders make more informed, cost-effective talent decisions. At HR University, we follow this HR analytics management cycle here. We start by identifying first the strategic HR concern that we want to manage or assess. Then we do some research, gather and manage data, which we can eventually analyze and interpret. The third essential skill is presentation skills. Having excellent presentation skills can help you facilitate better training, seek approval for HR initiatives and projects, and simply explain your thoughts to employees or your manager. Presentation skills also cover the ability to create impactful reports and PowerPoint slides. While we do have different delivery styles, what is important is the logic, clarity, and impact of your presentation. Some people have a knack for public speaking, but for those of us who don't, don't worry as there are many trainings and workshops available now that can help you improve on a skill, such things like Toastmasters. The fourth essential skill on our list is project management. All HR professionals participate in projects of one kind or another. This can include hiring a new critical role for the company, developing a new HRIS or learning management system, or conducting a compensation review. These critical HR jobs are often being managed by HR generalists and require supervision of multiple people and overseeing of multiple tasks within a set amount of time. And this is why project management skills are so important. When you are unable to monitor the progress of each key milestone in a project effectively, it can often cause a delay, which may translate to lost time and lost money for the business. Last but not least here is intercultural sensitivity. Any medium to large size company no longer works inside the HQ exclusively. Even small businesses tend to post jobs outside their city or even country. Besides remote job management, intercultural sensitivity is becoming another crucial aspect many human resources employees face. Before the internet, journalists had to handle employee relations inside the company's four walls. Today, the duties go well outside the organizational walls and different cultures have different ideas. For example, although employee skills might match, candidates might have a different idea of salary, employee relations, and job culture. HR journalists must possess the intercultural sensitivity skills for the company's current and future employees. Although it isn't necessary to know intercultural relations from the bottom to the top, generalists need to have the knowledge of how cultural relations can both harm and benefit the office. And there we have it. Those were the five essential HR journalist skills. We have full cycle recruitment, analytical skill, presentation skill, project management, and intercultural sensitivity. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. And that way you can keep up to date with everything human resources and get 
great HR content from HR University. Cheers.